Hello, my name is Vaskin Dilsizian. I'm from University of Maryland Medical Center and Associate Editor of Jack Imaging. With me is Dr. Albert Sinousis from Yale University School of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Sinousis, in the uh, current issue of Jack Imaging, you have written an editorial comment that will be accompanying Dr. Lynn Johnson's uh, and co-workers' paper, uh, where they test the hypothesis that therapeutic angiogenesis in the heart uh, can be imaged in vivo using SPECT radio-labeled peptides that target integrin. Mm -hmm. Could you first summarize uh, what the paper showed, and, and perhaps we can discuss uh, the application of this uh, animal study in human models subsequently. Sure, I'd be happy to. So Dr. Johnson and her colleagues have employed a, an established pig model of hibernating myocardium, which makes use of an amyloid occlusion, which creates a graded progressive ischemia uh, and results in an angiogenic response. Uh, after three weeks of establishing the ischemia and the hibernation, they randomized the animals to treatment with either a viral vector to turn on uh, VEGF uh, or, a, or a saline control. And three weeks after treatment, they injected the animals with a target RGD peptide that binds to the alpha V beta 3 integrin in order to mark non-invasively the angiogenic response. That's great. As, uh, you know, we have uh, read uh, with quite interest in the uh, late 1990s where all these uh, positive results were coming out using phase one open labeled trials in human studies uh, where they looked at the uh, uh, myocardial ischemia models as well as peripheral vascular disease model and, and in, in, these, in these cases they were using therapeutic angiogenesis and, and the results were uh, quite promising. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as you know, the phase two uh, randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials uh, were uh, non-confirmatory, uh, sometimes uh, conflicting uh, results uh, appeared. And I was wondering if you feel that the, the uh, results were not duplicated in the phase two trial because of poor targeted imaging, or was the, the therapy itself uh, was the problem? Well, I think it may be a combination of factors. I think uh, it may be that effective angiogenesis uh, requires the administration of multiple growth factors instead of a single growth factor. But also, I think importantly, it may have been that the imaging tools that were used to evaluate these therapies were insensitive enough. Traditionally, we focus on looking at the physiological consequences of angiogenesis, looking at changes in perfusion or changes in function. Uh, and what we really need is a more sensitive, molecularly targeted approach that would let, let us look directly at the molecular signals that occur with the angiogenesis. So what you're saying is that although we may be targeting budding angiogenesis uh, and visualizing it with the current study, what we have done is we've looked at the functional consequence of these neovascularization, if you will, uh, by looking at perfusion metabolism and one could argue, perhaps, it's the latter that's more important than the actually looking at the vessels. How would you uh, uh, respond to that? I think that is, that is true, that you know, to have perhaps a clinical impact, you want to have changes in the physiologic events. You want to see an improvement in perfusion. You want to see an improvement in mechanical function. However, in the evaluation of novel new therapies, you need to have sensitive imaging tools to detect sort of the, the beginning of a potential therapeutic effect uh, because it may be an issue of timing as well as, as sort of the imaging parameters that were evaluated. So and I, think it, you, I think you really need to look at both parameters. You need to look at the molecular events in combination with the physiological consequences. Great. And is this signal that's been shown in swine model translatable to human? Imaging? Yes, I, I think people have used the alpha V beta 3 integrin to look at uh, unstable plaque, which is a difficult target to translate into patients. However, evaluation of angiogenesis in the myocardium is a reasonable target that I think can be accomplished in patients. Great, it's been a pleasure uh, discussing this topic with you, Dr. Sinousis. It sounds like there, there's uh, many new opportunities in uh, targeted imaging and we look forward to having you participate in this uh, forum again another time. Thank, Thank you. you.
Have a question or comment about a CBN story? Send us an email at cbnfeedback at acc.org.